Hi world, this is Chad. I'm here at Nuke the News Media and we're all about the truth. We're going to delve into stories from the right, from the left, from the middle, from the conspiracy. We're going to go all over the place. So hang tight. You don't want to miss a thing. We're all about truth here at Nuke the News Media because we're sick and tired of the lies and the deceit that the news media that we have, mainstream media, has. So we're going to like they put it on YouTube, their channel got nuked. Okay, we're going to uh, not pay them a whole lot of attention. And we're going to get the stories out that they're not going to cover much, that they want to keep in the shadows. They'll touch on them a little bit, but they won't bring them to the forefront. They want to bring to the forefront the stories that are going to keep us pulled away from the real stories that affect every American and every human being on this planet. Uh, we got a president that's got scandals right and left going on. We've got things going down in this country that you wouldn't believe. We've got citizens that are saying, well, it ain't no big deal that the NSA is watching everything I say and do. Let them. Or, um, Go ahead and change the Constitution as long as we can be safe. You know, as long as we can be safe. We have an administration that is supposed to be transparent, yet is seriously oppressive of its people. We've also got people that are thriving and enjoying every minute of it while the rest of us scrap and scrounge and scrimp and claw our way from week to week trying to pay the bills that we have incurred that we can never ever repay unless we've hit the lottery and then most lottery winners, they're broke within a few years and they end up working and paying bills right back again. And the people that they've helped out and stuff along the way are back to paying bills too. We're working for the company store and the corporation is the United States. Central located in Washington, D.C., District of Columbia, Act of 1871. Okay, let's get into a little bit of the news here. This is um, from Google News. We've got Edward Snowden. At least one dead in Louisiana chemical plant explosion. Who knows what that deal is. Who knows whether it's a chemical plant explosion or whether it's an attack. Who knows? they know. Judge says jury will be sequestered at George Zimmerman trial. They're finally getting this trial on the way, I guess. Um, there eh, were some better stories. Um, Marriott Genetics shares soar on court decision. Hmm. Human genes cannot be patented. Isn't that interesting? Well, good. <laughs> I think somebody does hold the patent already for that, and that's God. South Africa says Mandel illness too public for culture. Don't ask me. <laughs> Mandela illness to public for culture. Okay. UN says 930,000 dead in Syria conflict. 
Wow. Turkey's Erdogan to meet protesters, representatives to defuse the situation. Turkey's people have been bashed and beaten and abused by the police state. They're sick of it and they want their freedoms, they want the beatings and the corruption to end. House Intelligence Chief says those who want to harm U.S. are changing their tactics. Really. Inspector in Philadelphia collapsed, commits suicide. Or did someone kill him? We may never know. Colorado wildfire destroys hundreds of homes. The jet stream is totally gone berserk. The Gulf Stream has petered out right there above North Carolina and going out just a little bit twirling off. It ain't no longer going up into uh, the North Pole and coming around and bringing warm weather to England. That's why we're seeing some of these severe weather problems. And there uh, possibly may be some severe manipulation going right along with it. Let's get it. Let's get on with it. <clears throat> um, U.S. prosecutors propose a kill switch to prevent smartphone theft. Really? Or maybe to prevent someone from outing information who may be a whistleblower. Kill switch. Let's not let him talk anymore. He's on the radio. He's on uh, coast to coast. Kill switch. Okay, the big uh, news from the blaze that was going to bring down America, make it collapse. Revolt among Republicans on immigration bill. Seventy House members ride, uh, risk career in planning in planned showdown with leadership. <laughs> That's what I'd really like to see is a showdown in, uh, in the Senate man. Give them all pistols and let them take 30 paces and duel away. Then give them swords for the ones that are standing and let them finish each other off. That would be really something, wouldn't it? Let's go over to the Drudge Report. Um, Sarah Palin rejoining Fox News as contributor. Now there's some interesting things. Drudge this is from um, Godlike Productions. This is Drudge's um, last two tweets. Very om ominous. Matt Drudge has tweeted, We are experiencing a SHIT storm of unprecedented levels. Second tweet. Survivors need to Raise your spirituality, raise your integrity, and raise your nutrition, raise your physical health, raise your consciousness. What does he know? What will occur soon doesn't sound good at all. And there goes the bloody telephone. Who's going to answer the telly? The telly will answer itself in just a moment. Watch and see. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's go over here to before it's news. News. Glenn Beck arrives in New York searching for the uh, breaking news secret that will change history. Government admit government intimidation as soon I'm sorry, I'm just, man, I'm just destroying that one. Forgive me. Government intimidation as an attack on the First Amendment. 
bill regulating 3D printed guns announced. Boy, they jumped on that one fast, didn't they? Descent from a nation of ideals. Population shocker. 11 billion people by 2100. Until you face core problems, victimization by your leaders, and get pissed off, you're not going to like this. Um, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. There's lots and lots of stuff going on, man. I could make a video that would last all day, and then there'd be new news for tomorrow. But anyways, I've gone up to 10 minutes, and that's way too long. Especially for some of us who don't have attention spans longer than it takes to consume a candy bar or watch a commercial. You know, that's why commercials are so short, right? Attention span. Anyway, this is uh, a little bit of the news brought to you by Nuke the News Media. This is Chad Noyce signing off. Good luck to us all. Over and out.